There we are guys, we're on Ogmore today. We're gonna to be fishing off the rocks. Just to the left of the beach. The beach is literally just on by there. Come to the left a little tiny bit, we'll be off the rocks. Down here you'll catch smooth ones, rays, uh, pretty much anything really. The good old faithful doggies. So we might have a good day, never know. Boiling or not. Don't know where dad's going. I'll do a bit of mountain climbing first. <laughs> We've got the net. Got a fishing net just in case. Much easier scooping them up with the net, especially with the smooth ones and half the rocks. It's always handy to have. So another place to try. We've been here a few times over the years. We've caught loads of smooth ones off here. Rays, bass. Dogfish, eos come off here. Like I said, most things really. It's a lovely day. Let's uh, let's go on the rocks. See you soon, guys. Some nice rock falls down here, guys. There's a few deep ones down here. Over the years, I've seen loads of. Uh, Congas and that not make it back to the water and they've uh, ended up in them. I've seen some decent congas and these as well. There we are guys, so I just cast one of my rods out, Dad's literally going to chuck one of his up rods out. We're going to fish one rod for probably, I don't know, half hour, an hour, something like that. Let's just see what happens. Got some squid on, just to try it out. We've got a crab with us. <laughs> if I don't fall down a rock. We've got a crab with us today as well. Yeah, we've got crab with us today and squid on our normal like three foot pulleys. So we should have a good day today, hopefully. I don't know if it's been fishing very good down here, um, but the sun's out, beautiful day. The tide's not too big either. So uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a go. Just keeping an eye on my rod, just in case it, it goes over. I brought my Ziplex today, my Zippy, give him a go, it's not rough or anything down here, once the tide comes a little bit closer, you've got the rocks and stuff in front of you, um, so sometimes you've got to bully him a lot of bit to get, it up, get him up, or you can take him down the side, either the right hand side or left hand side, um, to try and scoop him up the net, you can scoop him in front of you but it's, it's a bit of a drop um, down so you've got to be careful. This place normally fishes better just before high water. Um, anything after high water doesn't tend to produce too much. What we found over the years. So we got here early. We got here about, what time do we get here? About 11 o'clock? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's about 11 o'clock when we got here. Half past. Roughly. Half past three high tides. There's loads of people on the beach. We've got paddle birders out. They will probably drive us mad. Um, we'll soon see though. There's horses in the water, more paddle birders. So yeah, as long as we don't get stressed with the paddle birders, I'll end up strangling one of them. We should be okay. <laughs> the tide's lovely, it's nice and flat and calm. Nice and clear, because we've had no rain. The water's just literally gone crystal clear. Even down like oh, um, cold nap and places, even the water down here's gone pretty much crystal clear, because we've had no rain at all. We've had like spots, like drips of rain, I suppose. Nothing, nothing major. 
the dark under the water. So we should have a nice day at least, even if we don't catch anything. At the end of the day, somewhere new. I know we fished it over the years, but we haven't done a video on here before. So we're gonna uh, see you in a minute, guys. Hi guys, like Richard said, we're down Ogmore today, nice change. The weather's absolutely roasting down here. Yeah? So there's no one fishing at the moment. It's 20 past 12, I think I water's at past three. But uh, it's absolutely beautiful, look, look at this. Look, he's busy on his phone, not concentrating on his rods, look, no, again. Tech, tech he thinks he's... Baby. It's not right when you're cab fishing because uh, you got your um, you got your alarms, you, you only got your clutches here. But it's absolutely beautiful down here. It's, um, it is a bit awkward to cast, look, as you can see. There's holes everywhere, Richard's falling in one got soaking already. We bought, um, we brought some life jackets because when the tide comes in, it comes right up where we are now and where that drop off is there you've got to be careful you don't fall off the edge because you'll be dropping into about 15 foot of water it comes right up there as you can see down there look there's hell of a drop if you went in there but uh it's absolutely beautiful here i know much haven't been caught lately but um not much have been caught in most places what i was reading on the internet last night but um, oh, we have to get out with the weather like this. It's, you just gotta be out here. It's absolutely beautiful. It does you the world of good to get out. And we brought our new net with us, look, in case we do catch something. A nice, a nice smooth down. A nice smooth down or a nice, a nice ray. We have had smooth downs, rays, bass. I even had a, a codling down here the one time in the middle of June. Um, I used to come down here when Richard um, was off boxing. I used to come down here on my own. It was a bit awkward um, landing them on your own, but I did manage and photographing. Um, that was a bit awkward as well, but um, a couple of times I called people over because there's always somebody down here if they're not in the water on the beach. I call people over to take a picture and that. They were all uh, nice enough to do it. But yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, even if we don't catch anything, it's a lovely day out. It'll be another memory. We've had a laugh coming down here. Yeah, if we do get anything, we'll get back to you. See you later, guys. Here we are, guys. As soon as Dad just said uh, we'll bring you back, his rod just uh, bent over. Happy days. Take the net down. I might have to turn the GoPro. Oh, no, I won't. No, I won't. I'll tell you what, I'll put the GoPro on the rock up here. We forgot our big tripod to it's come off, is it? Yeah. Ah. Oh. oh, that's a pity. Oh, come off, Rick. What a git. Well, we'll bring you back in a minute, guys. Here we are, guys. Dad just lost one just now. Just been baiting up his other rig. And uh, it's a rod's gone off. Happy days. Let's see if we can get this one in. The weed's really bad on you today. May blooms um, going straight on your lead or not as well. So uh, Dad might have a couple of issues with the weed. But we'll soon see. I'll put the uh, GoPro down. Give me a second, guys. Oh yeah, perfect. It's lovely weather down here, like I said, guys. So it's nice to see Dad have one. Happy days. Yeah, the rod I only, I only catch it once, yeah, the other one. Right, yeah, and then you can 
Here are guys, second run, first one, through the hook. Oh, Richard got this one and he got his head stuck right through the brand new net. He put his head through the loop in the net. So there he is, a nice fish, really strong. Swimmers used to, had to get out of the water because he was kiting left towards them. But what a fight, it was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We'll get some pictures of this now and we'll uh, pop him back. See you later guys. We are guys. Dad's in again, by look of it. There's no by look of it. He's definitely in. <laughs> Free run so far. Let's hopefully uh, he lands. He gets this one in. I've just got mine on, but I am. I have been netting fish, so the first time I uh, forgot to put it on the water. But this time, I've got my life jacket on. I'll have to put you down, down by here, guys. Just so you mind the weight. He's trying to get into the shore again, left. Yeah. No, I'll do whatever he does. Yeah, the tide's rushing in now, guys. We've got about an hour and a half now before high water. The weed has been an absolute nightmare. Um, but usually, the the last hour before high water, the usually fish is pretty good because the weed sort of calms down and the fish come on the feed. This so you never know. This is the weed. Well, I'll show you the weed this now. This is only a little bit. I just took this. Um, no, face the camera too. I just took this out of the rock pool. But that gets wrong, it's not just wrong your leader, it's, it's all up your line. You're banging the rod to try and get it off, a lot of it comes off. But you have clumps the size of a football coming in. And just now I had a run, we got the fish right into the edge. I couldn't wind anymore because this was on my leader knot. Richard grabbed the leader, by the time Richard grabbed the leader and tried to pull it up into the net, the hook came out. But that's, I've had three runs and lost two of them 
because of tons and tons of weed going on the lead and you can't get the fish in. So we'll hopefully now, it's about just under an hour and a half to, um, it's just under an hour and a half to high water. So we fish till high water. Normally you, once high water comes, it turns and the fish go with it. But uh, we'll give it our best. It's stifling you. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. Like I said, I've been lucky. I've had three runs. I've only lost them because of the weed and I had that nice smooth down there and it's all I'm well happy but I'm only fishing one rod I give up fishing two rods um, I didn't have the patience for it because each time I was winding and I could see a ball of weed the size of a football so I'm just baiting rigs up now so I can chuck one out put one on bring one in and straight out again so Richard's just put a second rod out he only fished one rod for a while but he's being brave and fishing too. I can't. <laughs> I just can't be bothered. Not not when you got weed like that on you. If the weed ease is off, I'll, I got the rod. I understand. I'll just tip a rig on. I got a baited rig there, and I'll have a go. But we'll see what happens. It might just be the one. But you know, we can't help if the weeds like that. Oh, we caught anyway. We've yeah, we caught. We've had a nice day. Yeah. So there we are. We're out to the house. Um, being the experience, having three runs and all. It was good fun. So yeah, we've had a nice time. So we'll probably be um well hopefully we won't be too burnt. We got some cream on but it's absolutely roasting. Right, let's get back and sit on my box and enjoy the sun. We'll see you later guys. Yeah guys, that's in again. That's his fourth one. Fourth run anyway. Not to say I landed guys, but like I said, this weed is horrific. If I get to this boat, Rich, yeah. grab the leader and bring it up on the bank, don't bother with the neck. No, I won't. I think it's, it's tightened, they're not stupid, they're tightened towards the rocks on the beach. Every one of them is handy. The net is handy, but with the clumps of weed, oh, it's hard to try and yeah. get the weed off the line while trying to net the fish it's easier just to grab the leader um, I think I did it on the first one I just grabbed the leader on the one he actually landed I did net it it was easy just to grab the leader in all fairness He's running and I couldn't stop him. Look at him piping towards the beach there. Yep, again. He knows them rocks are there, see? Oh. He knows them rocks there. Here it comes, guys. I'm going to weed on my line now. That. Here? If you can pick it up. That's on my leader knot, that. That's, That's that actually nowhere near as much as the boy was no, actually coming in. But, um, oh, he's going again. You might not be able to see it properly. Well, um, I'll put the camera down and if I land the guys, I'll bring you back. Yeah. There he is, guys. Oh, I was shaking then because I thought it was going to come off. There he is, I've just got to unhook him now. Get a bit more film of him. And we'll uh we'll chuck him back. We'll get him back. I get some more film now when we holding him. Let me just get the hook out a minute. The pen will look again. It's always the pen look. Always on the pen, they'll look again guys. But look, this is what I mean, I'll show you now, look. Quickly. Look, and that's a small bit. It won't go through the eye, see? Richard's got tapered leaders and he can't even get it through through the eyes. There he is, nice smooth down in the rock pool. Get him an up now and we'll come back to you. You are guys, here's the smooth down out of, out of the rock pool. He was only hooked with the pen a lot, just about hooked in the bottom lip. Um, nice fish, full of energy. You are guys, here he goes. We'll slide him in, watch him swim. He'll go across the surface probably. And you can smell the water. 
Bill, it's rocking up. He's going to swim across the surface. No, he's gone. He's there gone. He is. Normally they swim across the surface, but because it's so deep by you, he just dives straight down. I don't know if you can see it guys because I can't zoom in but there's the uh, paddle steamer there the Waverly me and Jan been on the bar model years ago it was a lovely trip I not been on the Waverly but we can hear it chugging away so like I said I don't know if you can see it it's clear as day to us but with the GoPro we can't zoom in so I don't know whether you can see it so look at it, beautiful Absolutely beautiful look. There's a few in the water down there. Beautiful. I gotta sort that mess out now. I've cast the other rod out and sort that mess out. I will right, come back to if we uh, if we get any more. Too late the guys. Not long now guys and uh, it'll be high water. I got two rods out, the weed's not as bad as what it was. It's sort of calmed down so I'm hoping the fish come on a feed. But if they don't, I've had a nice day anyway. I've got a sun tan. Well, sort of. <laughs> Rich has just found he can zoom in on the GoPro which we didn't know. But it's gonna come in handy. Because the next fish Richard catches, when he catches one, it'll be that small, I'm going to have to zoom in on it. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's caught a couple, he's got two bigs for his boots now. Thinks he's funny. <laughs> uh, until next week, if he's sulking, we don't go anything. <laughs> uh, there's a guy down to the left of, it, left of us. He's uh, having a spin for the bass by look of it. It's a lovely day down here though. Here's dad there, like sunbathing. We need one rod. If you catch a 12 pound bass, I'm gonna laugh. Uh, no, I meant you. Oh, me? <laughs> I thought you meant the guy spinning. <laughs> There's a man just now, the uh, dog chased the sheep and the sheep jumped in the water so the man had to go and save him. We seen him, we looked to the right of us and we seen him uh, grabbing him out of the water so fair play to that guy. Going to save the sheep. There's a few good eggs around. Look at it down here, beautiful. Beautiful. Like a boiled egg tomorrow, because that's not going to be My head's going to be white. I might wind my rods in in a minute. Or well, one of my rods, anyway. And just try some squid, just to see if there's anything else out there. I've got to grab on both of them. Um, so I might give it 10 minutes before I do anything. Or I might just change them now. But only one of them, it's only for squid. I'll bring you back in a minute, guys. Richard got something. Oh, you got a smooth hound! You got a smooth hound. Richard thought he had a doggy. Hang on, guys, I gotta go and get it. I didn't even know I had to run. Hey! Oops, sorry, I shouldn't have lifted it up like that. I shouldn't have lifted it up like that, like that, but I was so excited for Richard. There we are, because it can damage him. But I was so happy for him. There we are, guys. Smooth I thought mine was going in. There we are, Richard Galway. 
Hey. Yeah, so look him. And, uh, I did tell him to come and cast all by me, but he wouldn't. I, got, I can cast him on my own spots. Oh, don't mighty, these fish are so strong. I know I'm getting old, but these are strong even for young boys. Look at them there. Might not be able to hear you because of the wave. Right, you are rich. I'll tell you, know, be quick as you can because you might get another one. Right. Yeah, guys. Like I said, I didn't mean to pick it up like that, but because you can, uh, you can damage, damage them. But uh, I was so excited. We thought he had a dogfish on because he was swimming towards him, and suddenly then it started going by the edge. But right. there, Richard's got a nice fish now. Look. Yeah, right, guys, like Dad just said, nice smooth round. I didn't know I had it on, to be honest, I was just winding in. And I joked to Dad and said, oh, I think I got a doggy on, because he didn't do anything, he just come in. I know I got my Ziplex and it is powerful. But, uh, yeah, it was a smooth round. Happy days. Yeah. Let's get him back. And hopefully, get another one. That's why I got over excited when I seen it was a smooth round, not a dogfish. Oh, my we God. Well, happy. Happy and well soaked, but well happy. Well done, Let's Rich. Get him back. Hang on, we got to take some photos. Oh yeah. Yeah, guys. On your small crab on there. I've been using. I've been using big crabs, but I just thought I'd put a small one on. I had some lovely bait. Got a pulley. That one's about three foot. The other one I was using was about four foot. Same as normal. I showed you the last time with the beads either side. Um. I think it's 60 pound rig body and 60 pound snud but when we go for the raise everything is 80 but um some just two o up small ups luck because they haven't got the biggest they haven't got the biggest mouth pull his leg off there so yeah let's get this out of the tide see if we can get another one <laughs> And if you do come down here guys, if you're casting, you don't have to do, um, you know, like 100 yard cast. You can come down here, cast about 50, 60 yards and still cast smooth on. Yeah. Because that's all dad's casting really is, probably about 60, 70 yards. We're not casting far. It's not, yeah, we're not casting far. We need to. You can get away with it. A small truck, as long as you're in the sand, yeah. you're, more, you're more than fine. You've got to be careful when you're stuck on these rocks on these rocks casting if you give it some to try and get say 80 to 100 yards and you slip you're gonna fuck your ankle so just get a comfortable position and just give it a gentle flick like richard said about 60 70 yards and you could be in with as long as you're in the tide out there you'll see the where the tide's running and then go to the camera. I stopped out of it soon. Right guys, that's the end of the video. We ended up with, I think we landed uh, four, I think we landed, and we lost a few with the weed, like I said. But now we're down the shop in the village, having a nice drop of pop, which is just, uh, not pop, water, cold water. And we got a nice ice lolly, which is just paid for. I bought the bait, he bought the drinks and the ice lollies. Look at I'm enjoying the sun. Enjoying the sun in Alma, <laughs> in the village. I paid a thousand pounds when I was at Thursday and we took drinks, but they all went warm, even with the cooler box. Um, so we'll see you on the next one, guys. We had a good fun day. We're boiling hot on Thursday, but other than that, we had a, we had a blast. Like I said, if it won for the weed, we'd have landed more, but that's fishing for you, innit? So we'll say bye bye from Richard. You and I mean enjoy my ice cream. Yeah. Don't forget as well guys. Give the channel a subscribe if you haven't. <coughs> it's opposite salt on days like this. <coughs> We've got plenty more fishing to do from the summer. A few more different acts to try as well. So uh, we're soon soon. <coughs> Team Shepherd. Have a look at this guys before we go. In Oldmore, they got a um, like basically a bike thing with Allen keys and stuff on it. Bought a few drivers. 
That's brilliant, that, to be fair. I don't have a bike. And I got a pump by there. Whoever came up with that idea, that's a fantastic idea. Fair play. See you soon, guys.